Hey guys, welcome to Rambout RC. Today we will be checking out this Piper Cup from Kukai that you can find through Banggood. I received from Banggood this tiny good looking model from Kutai. The official name is A505J3 Cup and as you can see by the shape and the colors of the model, it is in a scale model of the iconic Piper Cup. The Piper Cup is considered an excellent aircraft for beginners and it has been widely used to train pilots, particularly during and after the Second World War. Its design makes it very stable and easy to fly and the diedral angle of the wings, which is the upward angle of the wings from the road to the tips, contributes to the lateral stability and provides a degree of self-rightening tendency, which makes it a great option to learn how to fly RC planes too. I have seen a lot of toy airplanes that instead of helping to introduce new pilots to our hobby, their poor flying characteristics discourage a lot of people. In this flight review, that's what we will try to figure out, how this Piper Cup flies and if it can be a good option to start in the world of RC planes for less than 65 euros. Starting from the beginning, the model comes ready to fly in two options, with a radio control or with a receiver compatible with Futaba systems. If you are new into RC, I would definitely recommend to start with the combo with the transmitter, as you will find everything you need in the box. The assembly, setup and charging process is very simple and in less than 15-30 minutes your model will be ready to fly. This model is made of EPP and weighs 65 grams ready to fly. It uses three little motors connected to the propeller and all powered by a single lithium polymer battery of 500 mA that can be charged with any USB charger. Thanks to its design and the diedral of the wings, it can fly with only two servos, controlling the elevator and rudder. It has installed a built-in stabilizer, which helps a lot to keep a stable flight during all the flight phases and to fight against the wind. Of course, with a weight of only 65 grams, it's highly recommended to use this airplane in calm conditions to really enjoy its flight. As you can see, it can take off from a nice surface or from your hand, and when airborne, the stabilizer takes over, keeping the attitude of the aircraft if we don't give any input. In calm conditions, the flight is nice and easy to maneuver, and I would say that it surprised me how it flies with a wingspan of just half a meter. You can practice how to take off, landings, do normal pattern circuits, or even a simple maneuvers like horizontal aids. To be honest, I think that for 65 euros you get a very nice combo with all you need to have a good looking scale aircraft to start flying or to add to your hangar, especially if you're a fan of this iconic airplane like me. It is a good option to start flying RC airplanes. I think that it can definitely be an option and with the guidance of a more experienced pilot it can serve as a great trainer to learn how to fly, especially if we think about having a budget below 100 euros. I always recommend everybody to visit the nearest RC club, look for someone to help you if you can check how they fly first and unless you are very unlucky they will help you to start. In any case, I will probably start a series of videos on how to fly and I will probably use this airplane for some of the episodes. So stay tuned and see you in the next videos. Why not?